Hello class, this is Mr. Leon. I want to talk to you about whether lesson nine is called air force, air pressure. And so we start out by taking a look at the formula. Well, what is the definition of pressure? Now next year in physics class, you'll spend a lot of time with pressure. Pressure has this formula. Pressure is equal to the force exerted, a push or a pull on an object, divided by the surface area that it's applied to. And so if somebody pokes you with an eraser end of a pencil and then turns around and pokes you with the, the pointy end of a pencil, the pointy end is going to hurt a lot more because it's uh, a lot less surface area that that force is being applied to. Well, the thing about it, when we talk about air pressure, air pressure is caused by collisions. Air molecules, as we established in lesson five and six, according to the kinetic theory of gases, kinetic molecular theory, Air molecules are moving randomly in straight lines, and they constantly collide with each other in their container. So at any given moment, there are thousands and thousands, and I should say millions and trillions of air molecules colliding with your body, uh, causing pressure, exerting pressure on your body. And an example that air pressure does exist, uh, we did in class in our lab about three weeks ago, we took uh, some objects. Uh, one of the things we did is we took a beaker, we flipped it over, and we lowered it into a bath of water. And what we saw is, what we expected is that the water should fill up the beaker, right? But that's not the case. The water never entered the beaker. And the reason why is because the beaker was filled up with air. And these air molecules, these gas molecules, are moving around super, super fast. And at any given moment, there are billions and billions and trillions of air molecules that are going down. And so as water tries to enter, as air from the outside presses down on the water and tries to force it into the beaker, the air inside the beaker prevents that because the air inside, the air pressure inside, pushes the water back out. So water is never able to enter the beaker. That shows us that air exerts a pressure. Otherwise, the, the beaker would fill up with water. Uh, we take a look. Here's our mountain here, a beautiful mountain. And if we're at sea level, we have a scenic mountain here that starts out at sea level. If you're, you're hanging out here, air exerts a pressure of 14.7 pounds per square inch on your body. Every single square inch of your body has 14.7 pounds of air pressing on it. So above you, we have lots and lots of air molecules, gas molecules. And so as we get closer to the Earth's surface, there's more and more gas molecules. It gets denser and denser and denser. And so if you take the weight of all the gas molecules above you at sea level, it equals to a, a pressure of 14.7 pounds per square inch. And so scientists want to simplify that. You're like, yeah, I don't feel like using 14.7 PSI every time I do a calculation at sea level. They said, let's just make this equal to one atmosphere pressure. One of Earth's atmospheres of pressure is 14.7 PSI or one ATM. And so if we decide to hike up a mountain, do, 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 and we get to the top of a mountain, I'll say it's a pretty tall mountain. It's not as tall as Mount Everest. It's Mount Adam. We get to the top of Mount Adam here, and let's say that the air is pretty thin. The pressure might only be 0.5 atmospheres. That's telling us that we have walked through, we have hiked through half of the Earth's atmosphere in order to reach the top of this mountain. And so if the pressure is half, that means that there must only be half as many gas molecules, assuming temperature remains constant which it doesn't, let's just pretend it does, but the gas is going to be less, so that's less pressure. That means every breath of air you take has half as many oxygen atoms, oxygen molecules, and so it's harder to breathe. And that's why a lot of mountain climbers, once they reach a certain point, have to use supplemental oxygen, otherwise your muscles run out of fuel and can't, can't work anymore. All right, so that is the beautiful thing of air pressure, 14.7 pounds of pressure per square inch. Hope this helps.